Hi, today we're going to show you how to change a lower control board on a treadmill. Most treadmills are the same, they, are, they vary a little bit in principle, they're all going to be the same. Before you do remove your motor cover, make sure you unplug your machine. Very important, you don't want to put your hands in there if there's life power. So make sure your machine's unplugged, and then pretty much four screws. One, two, three, four. You undo your screws so you can gain access to your engine compartment. Lift off your motor cover. You'll find your lower control boards on your left. Pretty much, you might have to snip a few little cable ties just to gain access to clear the wires. You'll find a series of wires. Some have plugs, which can only go in one way. Some are color-coded, some aren't. But you can't mix the plugs up, which is a good thing. Then you'll find maybe four or five different wires. They're all color-coded. Red, black and white for your incline. If your machine doesn't have incline, you won't have these wires, which is a bit easier to change. You'll find two wires that come from the main on and off switch. They go to your AC1 and your AC2 plugs. All the board is labelled if you need. If you get stuck, you can have a closer look. And then two wires that come from your motor are red and black. They plug in, there's M plus and M minus. Plus is being positive, minus is being negative, which is your black. At total worst, you get your wires the wrong way, your motor will just run backwards. All the wires that do have plugs will find a little bit of glue on them. That's just done from the factory to stop the wires from coming off by mistake. You can break that glue off with your hand, comes off light, and then there's a little squeeze and pull button, the wire come off. That glue, once it's off, you can pretty much discard it, it's not needed. So you unplug all your wires. If you're not too sure before you, before you start, take a photo of it. At least that way when you finish, you can put it all back the same way. Once all the wires are unplugged, pull them clear away from the control board. Then you'll find there's two screws that hold the control board down to the frame. There you go. It's a refit to your control board. Pretty much the same way as they come out. Screw down to the, the base first. Makes it a bit easier to put your plugs on. If you find you don't have enough room, you can leave it off. Put all your wires in and then put your screws in. 